Hare Krishna, dear devotees and friends. We are at the Samadhi place of Srila Sanatan Goswami, which is just behind the Sri Radha Madan Mohan Mandir that is on the Parikrama Marg. Here is the beautiful Samadhi of Srila Sanatan Goswami, one of the six Goswamis who were the prominent followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who re-established Vrindavan as we know it today. Srila Sanatan Goswami is the elder brother of Rupa Goswami. Both of these brothers were born in a Brahmin family and were devotees of Krishna, but because they were so learned and qualified, they were hired by the Muslim rulership. Sanatan Goswami became the chief minister of the Nawab, and Rupa Goswami became the state treasurer. But when they met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Ram Keli, Bengal, they immediately wanted to give up their positions of power and surrender unto him. Sanatan Goswami experienced great difficulty when he tried to leave his post. The Muslim king threw him into jail, but he was able to escape and he quickly made his way to meet with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Varanasi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed him there for two months on topics regarding who we are, what is our eternal nature, why do we suffer, how do we alleviate this suffering, and what is the goal of life. These instructions we can find in detail in Chaitanya Charita Amrita and it is known as Sanatan Shiksha. After the two months in Varanasi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Srila Sanatan Goswami to join his brother Rupa Goswami in Vrindavan and gave four main instructions. One, to preach pure devotional service by his own example and teachings. Two, to establish the pastime places of Sri Krishna. Three, to establish deity worship in Vrindavan. And four, to write devotional scriptures pertaining to Vaishnava behavior. He did all of this very successfully. Sanatan Goswami would often walk from Vrindavan to Govardhan, perform full Govardhan Parikrama, and then walk to Mathura to beg for alms. One time when he was in Mathura, he found the deity of Madan Mohan in the house of a Brahmana. Madan Mohan followed him back to Vrindavan, and Sanatan Goswami worshipped him. Later on, this temple was built and the services were entrusted to the local priests so that Sanatan Goswami could continue his writing of books, perform bhajan and live very simply, sleeping under a different tree every night. Although he performed bhajan here in Vrindavan, Sanatan Goswami also stayed in Govardhan near Chakleshwar Mahadev and in Pavan Sarovar near Nandagao. Srila Sanatan Goswami is the Sambandha Acharya, which means he is the Acharya that establishes who is God, what is our eternal nature as a servant of God, and what are the illusory workings of this world. He is most famous for his masterful works, Hari Bhakti Vilas and Sri Brihad Bhagavatamrita. 
just here is the Grantha Samadhi, where some of the original works of the Goswami's books were placed here into Samadhi. Srila Sanatana Goswami entered the eternal world on Guru Purnima, which is in the month of June or July. The Vrajabhasis, who affectionately called him Bara Baba, placed him on their shoulders and performed Govardhan Parikrama. They shaved their heads in mourning, performed Sankirtan all day, and finally placed him into Samadhi just behind the Sri Radha Madan Mohan temple. We pray to Srila Sanatana Goswami for this Sambandha Gyan, this realization of our eternal relationship with Sri Radha and Krishna, and that we may understand his teachings deeply, putting them into practice with humility and constant prayer. Srila Sanatana Goswami, Ki Jai!